testimony at the State House today on a bill that aims to make abortions more accessible for all Rhode Islanders. More than 100 people lined up to testify on the bill that would provide coverage for the procedure under taxpayer funded state programs. Right now, there's an abortion coverage ban for those covered under Medicaid, as well as state employees. This bill would repeal that. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo joins us from the State House with what those on both sides had to say. Sheena? Well, right now, those who don't have abortion coverage would potentially have to pay at least hundreds of dollars if they wanted an abortion. And those who support this bill say that only hurts people who are already in desperate financial situations. While those who are against this bill say pro life taxpayers shouldn't have to pay for something they don't believe in. The bill's sponsors are calling this the Equality in Abortion Act and say about one quarter of all Rhode Islanders are covered by Medicaid and another 30,000. Our state employees, suggesting this impacts a big population. Here's a bit of what lawmakers heard tonight. I urge my colleagues to resist the temptation to insert the beliefs of a small number of legislators into the exam rooms of a large number of health care providers and their patients. Why are recipients of Medicaid being punished for being poor? Are all women equal, but some more equal than others? This is the crux of the matter. A caste system for the women of Rhode Island is unacceptable. I came out today because I am pro-life. I've always been pro-life. I just don't see why an elective procedure would need to be paid for by taxpayers. It was an unnecessary poor tax, um, a form of moralism forced on the poor that those with means don't have to contend with. Um, I did get the abortion, however, because of the difficulty in finding the over $300 required, the process was really demoralizing. So it should not be covered by my, my tax dollars. Yes, there are cases of abuse, rape, incest, and whatever. That's a separate story. I really feel for people in that situation, but by and large, most cases are not that, and it should not be covered by tax dollars. And this bill was heard in the House Finance Committee tonight. The meeting is still going on right now. All bills that were heard are being held for further study. Reporting live in Providence tonight, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.